Good morning, beautiful people. So I'm making a class out this morning for one of my TikTok family members, my beautiful spirit that I met through TikTok. Her baby birthday today, and she has a bigger family. Who's out in the class? I'm getting ready. Okay, stay tuned. So you use your vegetable oil, okay? I'm gonna put that in the process of making people out. So besides saying that I'm making a pound of shrimp, one pound of shrimp, I'm making a very large pan, you need at least two to three pounds of shrimp. So we got one pound of medium-sized shrimp. I'm getting ready to take these and wash them off really good in the strainer with some warm water. Yeah, can you eat? Okay, for those that don't know, all right. So besides saying that I'm making, you need at least one container to two containers of crab meat, depending on how many you want the pan to be. I like for my pan to be pretty meaty, and I like the taste of the claw meat and the regular crab meat. So I do claw meat plus crab meat in my people's house. Make a really large pan. You want to at least three containers of crab meat, because you want to really taste the crab meat in your salad. All right, it is people's house. You don't need to use that, okay? This is what I'm saying. I'm making most of these pans don't come with this, and you want to make sure. You know, some people just don't know. It's okay because sometimes it's all about how we're ready. But you know, so this is a new pan. You want to get this pan, you want to raise this pan over hot water with just a little bit of vegetable oil, wash it out really, really good, get it nice and clean before you raise this stuff in. Okay? I'm just trying to help somebody out there just need a little extra nuts, okay? And it is perfectly okay because if we don't know, we just don't know, right? You want to keep checking your noodles because you want your noodles to be cooked just right. You want to cook just right. You want to be too soft. You don't want too soft. Because noodles, the major part of your salad. You get that soft noodles, your salad not going to taste good. Okay, I'm going to put crab meat in your pan. And I got to put gloves on before I'm making this for another house. I'm making this for my pan. I wash my hands a thousand times. That's going to have a clean and I'm going to wash my hands a thousand times. That's going to have a clean and I'm going to wash my hands a thousand times. That's going to have a clean and I'm going to wash my hands a thousand times. That's going to have a clean and I'm going to wash my hands a thousand times. That's going to have I need to change my gloves a few times. But anyway, you want to put your shrimp in a pot after you wash them off really good. And drain all of the water off that you, you know, wash your shrimp in. Um, then you want to put it in a pot and season your shrimp. Season your shrimp really good. So that's what I got going on right now. Shrimp is in the pot. Boil the seasons in the pot for days. And whatever other seasons, you know, you're going to use it. So again, in my craft salad, I mix my meat, claw meat, and the regular crab meat. Claw meat has a different taste from the regular crab meat. So to give it an extra little flavor that I like. Okay, so we got all our crab meat in there. My shrimp cooking and seasoning my egg of water. Got my noodles done and ready. Now I'm going to put some noodles in my pan. So she's doing a small pan. So I kind of got, got a small pan that's kind of deep. So we can have like a good stirring. And you could just use regular white noodles, but to me, vegetable noodles, it's got a different flavor. So that's our noodles. Okay, now, I like onions and green peppers in my people's salad. So if you want to put, go ahead and start, um, while you're, um, uh, trying to boil your egg boiling, you go ahead and start putting some of the ingredients, some of the stuff inside the salad to get going. But I put green peppers or celery in my salad. Um, they didn't have any celery chocolate, and I wasn't going to chocolate on celery, I don't do that. I, I, I take advantage of the blessing of celery and all that good stuff on it, coming in the store and cut. So, you want your green peppers, they tell you your green peppers, just as good in your crab salad, either or. So, I'm going to add one of the other, and put some green peppers in there. Now, every, every one doesn't like onions, right? So, but I'm onion first. And, I'm putting onions in mine. I always put onions in mine. Some people don't like onions, I'm going to make it for family, you know, other people add. If they don't like onions, that's a perfect salad, and they don't want onions in it. But, onions are so good, I actually don't like onions. Onions are really just really hot. Get your onions, you want the whole lot of onions, so if you know you're going to put a lot more of the green in here, then I'll give you all the onions. You want to have some onions in there. Okay? I'm going to turn it out with something. If y'all have roses in your area, if you have roses in your area, there are many things better than Duke and better than any brands to me that you can buy in the grocery store. So I went to roses and got my baby. I like the flavor of roses. I don't know if my auntie made it from scratch, I don't know, but it had a great flavor. And oftentimes, this one, that one's really popular. So that was blessed. I got the last one. You want to put your mayo in there. But just a little for now, so I'm going to come back up with my eggs and stuff in there because I don't want to put too much mayo in it. I'm just going to start. It's starting to get, you know, going. But my shrimp, they're done. I'm going to take my shrimp to cook. So we're going to get that in the drainer. Drainer. Let my shrimp cook a little bit. All right. Gotta have your sweet relish. Gotta have your sweet cube relish. Well, sweet salad cube, not relish. Alright. Okay, so you wanna put some mustard in your salad. Gotta have mustard. You can make a potato salad, shrimp salad, whatever salad you make. Put some mustard in there. Even if you make a baked beans. Put some mustard in there and give it a kick. If you make a hot wings, put some mustard in there. A hot wings sauce. Put some mustard up in there. Salad. Okay? So now, let me tell you, there's a difference in the old base from the grocery store and the old base from the seafood market. Please use some old base from the seafood market when you make a salad. I do use this to kind of like season shrimp all the time. But I use this actually to put in salad. You wanna taste this little season that they have from the seafood market. It's different. I don't know what brand they don't know where you get from, but it's definitely different from the store. Alright, you wanna put your seasoning up in there. This is a seafood salad, so you want to take your seafood more seasoning up in your salad. Okay? All right, I'm going to serve this some more. I'm going to probably add more seasoning to this one. But, that's what you said to do. 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 I'm just giving you all my ingredients, right? That's what you said to do. 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 You really got like five different kind of pots in your seafood board. You can make a little bit of salad. You want to take a little bit of salad in there.